How you doing, rockabilly friends? Of rockabilly guitar. My name is Fred Stuckey, and this is my second video on rockabilly guitar. Doing it on Scotty Moore today. My son style rockabilly. Playing my 1953 Gibson ES295 through a uh, Tweed Deluxe. No, I'm sorry, Tweed Champ and a little echo plex. Let's do a little more echo on it there to add uh, add more of a Scotty Moore sound because he used quite a bit of echo on his old echo phonic amp. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to run through a few songs here and kind of share some of the things that I've learned over the years listening to Scotty Moore and uh, playing a lot of Scotty Moore riffs and just really enjoying his style a whole lot. He was probably the first rockabilly guitar player that I really tried to to learn, you know, note for note, so to speak. Sometimes was successful, but sometimes not. The coolest thing I liked about Scotty, and the things that I'll share with you on four or five songs here, are his use of chords for solos, you know, pieces of chords for solos. So, uh, like in Mystery Train, we'll, we'll do a few here, like Mystery Train, Baby Let's Play House, Good Rockin' Tonight, That's All Right Mama, and Milk Cow Blues, I think are some good standard ones that he did in the Sun era on his 295. So in that uh, Mr. Train, we'll just jump right into it. A7 chord. A7, and then your pinky runs up to the uh, B string on the E note here. Super cool. Very simple. A7. That E chord. B chord. Back to the A7. To that crazy complicated mystery train riff that uh, I've never gotten quite right, but pretty close. Good enough for bars. That's very cool. I like that a lot about it. So uh, in Good Rockin' Tonight and in uh, Baby Let's Play House, he does very similar style solos. Baby Let's Play House, you know, oh baby, 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 great solos, love the tone on Baby Let's Play House, absolutely. So absolutely nasty tone. In that, Baby Let's Play House, he just starts it out and goes, I believe, uh, he starts it out right here on uh, the B and the E string. 7th and 8th fret. So essentially, there's your E chord there, he's like... A7 chord again. B, B chord there, goes to the 5, the B. Uses the B7. I love this finger picking style. I use it all the time in my own uh, hillbilly way. <laughs> the other great part of that solo, the second break, and that solo goes. straightforward stuff, so to speak. It's just a matter of getting it right, which uh, is always important to do. And if you don't get it right, it's even cooler because then you end up making up your own riffs, which is a very fun part about rockabilly and rock and roll in general. You know, it's not always important to get the notes quite right. Anyway, that being said, the second break in Baby Let's Play House. Right here, on the octave, E to the D. Kind of a D, I guess, part of a D. Doing the hammer on pull off riff that he always does in A. B7 to a C, 7, back. Very simple stuff, but very, very super, super cool stuff. Good rocking tonight, same kind of style. If you're 
Rockabilly fan, you hear it about twice a gig <laughs> if you do. But it's still a super cool riff. Open, doing the octave there. It's not really octave, it's, uh, it's hitting the same note twice, you know. You hear, open A. That two string bend again. Up to the E here. A7. E. Like if you're making a D chord, an E chord with a D. B7 again. And uh, so he does it backwards, the second part of that solo. Blues here. I don't want to keep this lesson too long, and uh, you know, everyone's got short tension spans these days, myself included. But uh, you know, the best part about this stuff is if you're trying to figure these songs out, you're just trying to get a hang on Sky and you're a young player, like I was a long time ago. You get a little handle on it. A lot of A7 riffs, you know, A7, a lot of two string bands. So in uh, Milk Cow Blues, which is I love Milk Cow Blues. Basic riff is just an open A string and a hammer. Solo, more or less chords. Uh, I'm out of tune, but that's at no charge. Lesson is free. Space and on all over CD Baby, but on iTunes. Buy a few songs on iTunes, help me play for some guitar strings. <laughs> now, learn those, those uh, hammer ons and pull offs. Thanks again for checking me out. And uh, I'll do one real soon. Maybe the next time, we'll probably do a little uh, cliff gallop. <laughs>